Now to the coronavirus and the classroom. Galveston ISD is taking a big step in hopes of keeping students and staff safe while on campus. The district is going to install air filtration units that are said to kill the coronavirus. Education reporter Andy Sirota is part of the Channel 2 education team. He's live now in the newsroom with a closer look at the technology. Andy, we understand it comes from a Houston-based company as well. Lauren, that's right. As more and more students return to school for in-person learning, school districts across our area are facing the question of how to keep everyone safe inside their buildings. These new units are being installed in all 12 of Galveston ISD's campuses and other facilities. The company claims its air filtration technology is proven to eliminate 99.99% of the virus that causes COVID-19. This invention will kill COVID-19. He's talking about this biodefense indoor air protection system created by Houston-based company Integrated Viral Protection. More than 100 of these air purification units will be installed throughout Galveston ISD's schools. I don't even call it a test case. We're like a, a case study for the effectiveness of these units, and we're very much looking forward to that. The science behind it is somewhat technical, but the company says the air filtration system has been tested and proven to kill the virus that causes COVID-19 by circulating air that goes in through the system through heated superconductor filters. The end result, cool, clean air that is virus-free. It can clean a single area 10 to 12 times an hour. This is not just for COVID. This is for the overall health of all of our students. We know that when they're in school, they learn more, they learn better. Same with our staff. We want to be able to protect them as well. The company says it is working to produce smaller portable units in several different sizes. They also plan to create permanent filters for HVAC systems that would stay in your central air units. In the newsroom, Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you.